everyone, welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten, a special edition of Frightfully Forgotten. First of all, what are we drinking today? Uh, we're drinking uh, my London Black Porter, London After Midnight. Today we are going to review 2018's Halloween. We just yeah. saw it last night. Liked it, for yeah. the most part. I, I didn't mind it, you yeah. know. Uh, didn't walk out of there going, ah, what a piece of garbage. And I find myself not bashing this movie either. Yeah, yeah, me too. Which is yeah. what I normally do with new movies, so. Yeah. It came out not bad, you know. There's things about it we liked, the things about it we didn't like, and we're going to kind of go through those right now. Yeah. So, first of all, the things that we liked about the movie. It had a very good sense of this foreboding, this feel of, like, claustrophobia almost, I think. Yeah. And that kind of plays in with Laurie having been through all that traumatic stuff in the first one, right? It definitely had the spirit of Halloween mm -hmm. in it, yeah, for sure. The music in this movie, too, which kind of connects with the atmosphere, yeah. uh, done by John Carpenter and his son, it was very good. Yeah. How can it not be? Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's Carpenter, yeah. so... And, I mean, with him not directing the movie, this is about as good as we can get. He, he borrowed some themes from Halloween 4, mm -hmm. which he did not score, which is Buddy... Alan Haworth uh, scored, and he did come up with some of his own original music for Halloween 4. Now John Carpenter mm -hmm. uh, replicated some of that music from Halloween 4 and put it in this one, which I thought was neat. Yeah. It's not it's not there lots, but I did notice it. John Carpenter also just didn't rip himself off. He, there's some new stuff happening, too. It sounded familiar, but it sounded new. It mm -hmm. didn't sound old. It sounded... Uh... Kind of a little bit like his lost theme type stuff. Oh, for stuff sure, too. yeah, yeah. The story for this movie is okay. Maybe one of my biggest things about this movie is it, it borrows too much from the first movie. I, like it starts off with Michael in Smith Grove, just like the first one. Um, he escapes from Smith Grove, just like the first one. He goes to Haddonfield, just like the first one. Yeah. He goes after Laurie Strode, just like in the first one. But that's kind of my biggest thing. Like, the story worked, and I like what they did with Laurie as being this recluse and kind of a basket case. Uh, you were mentioning you liked Nick Castle. as. Oh, uh... yeah. I think uh, this movie would not be near nearly as good if it wasn't for uh, Nick Castle being Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. And if... If Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't in it. Oh, well, yeah, of course. And uh, if John Carpenter didn't do the music for it. Those three things, I think, really made this movie shine. Yeah. And uh, to have Nick Castle in the mask again with that walk, the way he walks, you know. It's that sway yeah, or whatever. Uh, it just magic. And it just made... It's it's like, oh, it's Michael Myers again. It, it's It really felt like you're watching... Well, it is the same guy from the first one, and mm -hmm. it, for the first time ever in any sequel, it really, you know, felt like the same character from the first one. Mm -hmm. But even all the supporting cast is pretty good. Wasn't a huge fan of the the actress who played Laurie's daughter. Mm -hmm. The dad kind of pissed me off. Yeah, actually, like her husband. Yeah, I didn't really dig him too much. Yeah, me either, actually. But besides those two. Uh, the casting was pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. If, for years, I've wanted to see a Halloween sequel where M Michael Myers is the age that he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I always thought that it would be really creepy if they did that, and it was this old guy in a mask, this big old man um, who's strong and unstoppable. I thought it was very creepy. And I love the fact that they actually did that this time. Mm -hmm. and even when they kind of show him without the mask, but not his face, like his back is turned or whatever when he's in the uh, Smith Grove. It's like, oh yeah, he's old. Mm -hmm. But that's creepy. Yeah, because he still has the same tendencies yeah. and shit, right? He's still got the same strength and... Yeah, and the same uh, the same goal and yeah. everything too, yeah. which was cool. Yeah, so I really like the, the old Michael. There's like a whole bunch of scenes that lead up to when he actually gets his mask. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoyed all those scenes, the way they were shot and everything. Mm -hmm. The way that they like place the camera so you don't see his face really and you kind of just see the back of his head or you just see like a little sliver here. Yeah. The kills in this movie I thought were really fun and really good mm -hmm. and uh, they were um, memorable. They kept with the theme of Michael too, right? I mean, he uh, uses his butcher knife yeah. sometimes, but he also uses his hands. Which is, strength. Yeah, which harks back to the fourth one and, and just 
his nature anyways, right? Yeah. When he gets out, he doesn't have anything. So, yeah, I mean, this he and he's still powerful enough to yeah. use his hands yeah. to kill. It's a pretty right, gory is, movie, really. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, not tons of blood, but there's some gory kills. Mm -hmm. It really made me think, how the hell did this movie get a 14 A rating? I don't know. They're pretty lax nowadays. Like, I mean, like there was... There was children, like, there was children in the movie theater with us. There was a big group that came in with, like, a couple of adults, like, yeah. 20 kids. Could have been, like, a kindergarten class. Yeah, and it was, like, <laughs> they they were young. They were, like, 10, 11. And I'm, like, I have nothing against uh, kids watching horror movies because we watched them when we were kids. But it, I think it depends on the horror movie. And I think the gore is not so much what really got to me about why this I don't think kids should have been watching this movie it's the the language um, and I'm not opposed to the f-bombs and stuff like that it's the context of them sadly that leads us to the stuff that we didn't like about this movie so leading off from the stuff that we liked about Michael himself the character Michael old Michael uh, the stuff that we sort of didn't like about it was that like, for one thing, they showed, we both thought they showed uh, way too much. I thought that they showed a little too much of, like, whenever they showed a side view of his yeah. face and stuff like that, they showed too much. They did that too much. Yeah, they did that a little too much. They showed the mask too much. Generally, that was my, my, my feeling is, yeah. um, they, they, it was overkill and you kind of got desensitized to it. They didn't do enough to keep the mis mystery and the mystique about him. Yeah. Because it's a direct sequel to the first one, he hasn't really killed that many people yeah. in in this one. The, yeah. As they mentioned, or one of the kids mentions, he's like, oh, well, he's only killed five people. In the grand scheme, yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah. And really, when you think about it, he's right. Yes. <laughs> to quote uh, American movie, he's less menacing. <laughs> How did Loomis catch him? Because at the end of the first movie, yeah. he's gone. So what happened there? When did when was he caught? Yeah. Which I, I, Was he caught that night, or was he caught... Later, like, they did something that I had a feeling they were going to do, and I was hoping they were going to do it, and they did, and it pissed me <laughs> off, and that is the fake Loomis <laughs> voice on on the tape. Yeah. And you're listening back to, like, his, his records or whatever, his tapes, and it's some guy doing a Donald Pleasance impression. It's like, just fucking leave him be. Mm -hmm. He's dead. You don't need to do a stupid impression of him on tape. The fanfare, which I was really looking forward to the fanfare for this movie. I thought that it was too blatant. The, yeah. That the fanfare was too blatant and, and, and not for the diehard fans so much as just casual fans. Another thing about Michael that we kind of didn't like was, well, and I guess the movie in general was that there's a lot of sort of indiscriminate killing in this movie, which yeah. kind of didn't f doesn't fit... The original Meyer, or the original Halloween. Yeah, right? his M.O. Yeah. The couple of scenes where he's in, in in someone's house, and it's like, well, why is he in that house? What's yeah, his like, reason for being there, and why is he killing that person? Yeah, like, you know, um, if his whole motive for getting out is to go after Lori, yeah. why is he bothering wasting his time with all this other yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Why are you hiding in the closet upstairs in somebody's house? It makes no sense whatsoever. In this person's house. Yeah, like... This particular person, why is he in that closet in that house? Um, so stuff yeah. like that, it didn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. There's a few things in this movie that didn't make any sense. There's a scene with the new Loomis-type character, this doctor, mm -hmm. which um, sticks out like a sore thumb in the movie, comes out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and there's no foreshadowing or build-up to it, and then... There's no mention of it again after, and it's just kind of like, well, why... It's like he just took the scene and just... Brunk. Yeah. Yeah. And then after, when the scene is done, then that's it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, all right, what yeah. the hell was the point of that? Yeah. The comedy in this movie was misplaced and unnecessary. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, um, there's too much of it in general. And there's a scene with a kid that's being babysat, and anyone who's seen the movie knows exactly what we're talking about. Um where I do like the transaction that happens between the kid and the babysitter. It's, it's pretty funny, and I thought it was clever, and it, and it worked in that moment. It, just a bit, though. But too, it right? continues later 
when it should be scary now. Yeah. And the kid is still being funny. It's like, no, th that's not the time to be funny in this movie, you know? Mm -hmm. The time was, you know, 10 minutes ago when it worked. Yeah. It doesn't work now yeah. because you're trying to be scary now. And, it, and it, then that's the thing. Then it dumbs that scene down, oh, right? Totally. And it yeah. takes the scariness out of it. Yeah. People are laughing when they should be silent and watching. Yeah. As good as it was, it could have been just one notch better if it would have been dark and serious throughout. Less comedy, one, yeah. 100%. Too many scenes completely bored from the first one. Right. Like when Lori's granddaughter's in, in the classroom and she's That's sitting at the I'm desk. talking about there, yeah. yeah. And then she's looking out the window just like Lori did. The movie was good enough where we're not going to sit here and tear it to shreds. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's some things we're critical of. But for the most part, we enjoyed it. I didn't love it, and I didn't hate it, and I thought it was better than okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like that. This next tier above being okay, it was yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, so where would you rank it in your Halloween movies now? Actually, yeah, I think it would be after the fourth. Yeah, because the fifth one isn't. I really kind of yeah. don't like that one yeah, that I much. Think, yeah, I, I'd put this, if I had to rank the movies, I'd put it, you know, uh, one, four, two in this one would be like my top four. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely the best sequel since the fourth one. Yeah, for sure. And it, it doesn't get stupid with fucking symbols and yeah. you know, all that kind of crap, right? Uh, yeah, I, we, we enjoyed the movie and I'd say go check it out, you know? Yeah. Just to, don't... Uh, don't disregard it because you think it's just going to be a modern piece of crap. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. It's the best you could hope for, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So yeah, go check it out and uh, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Till next time.